Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about some of the benefits that Canadians qualify as a low-income household. We are going to talk about some of the federal benefits and some provincial benefits. I live in Ontario, so I'm going to be focusing on mostly the benefits that qualifies in Ontario as an Ontario resident. But if you are watching this video and you are residing somewhere other than Ontario, I'm going to show you how you can find out those benefit under the provincial benefit website. So So I made this Excel file where I included all the benefits that low-income Canadians qualify on the federal level and the provincial level. As you can see here, I listed down all the benefits, name of the benefits. If the benefit is income tested, meaning that is there any income threshold that will qualify you for that benefit. So most of these benefits are targeted towards low-income family members. Those Canadians who have high income and have a high adjustable family net income, they may not qualify for a lot of this benefit. That's why I included this column where I indicated if this benefit is income tested. And some of the benefits that are listed here will phase out as somebody's income goes up. For example, Canada Child Benefit this benefit goes down when the family income goes up. So a lot of these programs are designed that way. So this is the most common benefit that most Canadians qualify who have a child or children. So if you go to the calculate your benefit section, this is where it explains how much you qualify as a parent. This, this is the math behind how much you can qualify for your child benefit. So as you can see here, it is based on your number of children you have, their age. So if they are under six years of age, they qualify for more because they tend to have more expenses. So the government gives a little bit more money to parents who have kids who are under six years of age. And if your child is more than six, but under 17 years of age, then you qualify for a little bit less so it obviously depends on how many kids you have what are their age if you are married or single because the way they calculate the family net income will be based on your household so if you are single then your income will be your household income if you are a married person or if you have a common law partner then your partner's income will be included in the adjusted family net income. A lot of these benefits are based on adjusted net income, which is line numbered 23,600 in the notice of assessment. Once you file a tax, after typically a week or two, a CRA make an assessment and send a document that is called notice of assessment. So this is this is the document which is assessed by CRA and gives you some important information. Notice of assessment has the name, the address, the tax year, a partial social insurance number, and also an access code. So if somebody wants to validate, they need to have this access code to validate this document. And then typically the second page has all the information regarding your income. So the first line item is total income. So this is how much you made previous year from all of your jobs. So if you have one job, typically they give you a T4 at the end of the year. So this number comes from that T4 income. If somebody has multiple job, then this number is a summation of all those T4. So that's the line number 150. It used to be line 150 but CRA a few years ago added zero zero to all those lines we still call it line 150 because it's easy to say so 150 is the top line this is how much you made last year all of your combined income this is where you get to deduct 
For example, a lot of people contribute to their RSP or some Canadians are part of the pension plan. So if they are contributing any money to that pension plan, typically they get a deduction here. Some expenses, for example, childcare expenses, if somebody pays alimony to their ex-partner, those are deductible expenses. So they get deducted on this line item. And this is where the net income comes in. So line 236 is the net income and that's the one that typically the government use to calculate all those benefits. Okay. Now the other document says here adjusted family net income. The reason there is an adjustment because if somebody qualifies for RDSP, those are not included here. So that's why there is some adjustment. But more for most Canadians, this will be the, the number that CRA will use to calculate all those benefits. So now that you have an understanding where this adjusted net income comes from, we go back to our slide to figure out how much they can qualify under the child benefit program. So as you can see, the maximum amount somebody can qualify is around $7,000 if the child is under the age of six. If they are between this age, then it's around $6,000. Now, what happens if your income is above that roughly $33,000? By the way, these numbers changes every year because of the inflation effect. So as you can see here, the maximum somebody can qualify is when they have an adjusted net family income below $33,000 approximately. Now, what happens when your income goes up? So as your income goes up, these numbers get slower. So somebody whose income is between this, so they use this formula and there is a clawback. In this example, if the adjusted net family income is $45,000, that's the income over threshold and that's why the seven percent clawbacks comes in and then this is the reduction from the maximum so this is the maximum this is reduction and this is the annual payment that this family will get because family income is a little bit higher than the thirty three thousand dollar threshold if you have multiple children then the amount gets bigger i encourage you to check and figure out how much you can qualify. This is somebody who makes over $71,000. As you can see, there is a partial reduction. So the bottom line here is if you are in a higher tax bracket, then there will be more reduction and you will qualify less to Canada Child Benefit. So that's the first benefit that most Canadians qualify who are parents. If someone's child has disability, then there is typically disability tax credit. To qualify for this benefit, typically they have to have a certificate from CRA and that gives a little bit relief for those parents that have a child with disability. So the next benefit that I'm going to discuss is the GST credit. So if you click on this link, it will take you to the website. But basically what it is, again, it's based on adjusted family net income. As you can see here, I put the approximate number here. So somebody who makes more than $35,000, you can qualify for the maximum. If you are married, that's around roughly around $40,000. And as your income goes above this, the GST, PST credit phases out. So you no longer qualify if your income is over $55,000. If no child, single person makes less than $35,000, that's the maximum somebody can qualify. When somebody has a child, two children, three children, so that's the threshold that they use. So if somebody is married or has a common law partner, so this is where they can qualify for the maximum. And as they make more money, this benefit goes down. And by the way, this is annual. So this is not monthly or quarterly. The federal government recently announced a one-time GST payment support for Canadians to deal with this tough economic time. 
again this is based on similar criteria and you don't have to apply the government already has your information and they will automatically calculate and give you that amount so this is the maximum somebody can qualify if they have less income and if they are married this is the amount climate action incentive payment one of the benefit that does not need to be income tested meaning that regardless of your income you can qualify for this benefit and this is a tax-free benefit paid to everybody to qualify for this you actually do not have to have low income which is nice so in this website they actually have a payment schedule how much somebody can qualify if they are single or if they are married these are the federal program that we have in Canada now we are moving towards the uh, the provincial governments and each province has different benefit program for its residents so you need to figure out what are those program under your specific province so I live in Ontario so I'm gonna explain mostly the Ontario benefits the number one is Ontario Trillium benefits basically this is combined of three different program actually so that's why I added three different program here so the first one is Ontario energy and property tax credit so it's a tax credit the second one is Northern Ontario energy credit so to qualify for this program you need to be a resident in a certain region of Ontario you cannot qualify if you live in Toronto or Ottawa and the third one is under your sales tax credit so if I go back to the website here this is basically all the details that uh, gives you more information about these benefits but I find it a little bit complex compared to the federal one because I couldn't find any chart or calculation system but I think they calculate in the back end again these benefits are also based on this adjusted family net income so as somebody makes more money above this threshold then there is a four percent reduction for every dollar you make so really it is targeted towards families with low income then we have Ontario child benefits very similar to the federal child benefit program this one is also based on the adjusted family net income and you can qualify for another $125 per month if income is under a certain level again these number changes every year so always follow the government website because they get up to date information now there is some other benefits for example seniors homeowners property tax grant this is also targeted towards low-income family members so if you really want to dig deep in all the Ontario benefits I added a website's address here this is where Ontario has all the benefits listed that are available Ontario sales tax Ontario trillion benefits it has more information so if this is specific to people with children this is specific to farmers who have some sort of disability they should check out this section because it has lots of good information about all those benefits seniors also have a specific section so this is gains income this is trillium drug program very informative website this is for students and women so I encourage you to check out this website if you think that you qualify for some of these benefits and lastly I want to show you a couple of good websites where you can figure out what kind of benefits you can qualify the first one is the benefit finder tools that the government built so in this tool you can click very few options and figure out what are those benefits you can qualify so let's say I live in Ontario the second question is am I affected by the coronavirus outbreak I say no let's say my age is 35 do I consider my household income to be low so they have three options here let's say I select yes and then it asks me a few other questions so as I click those options it automatically puts me into an algorithm 
and based on my response it may give me an indication what kind of benefits I qualify so let's say I need dental surgery or prescription drug or lenses so I put that information here do I have any ch child so let's say I say yes and then I say my first child is between this age and my second child is less than 12 months and then for my kids it is asking further question does any of my kid qualifies for a special attention so basically it is asking about if any of my kid qualifies for disability tax credit let's say one of my kid needs special attention let's say assume and then i put myself a self-employed person i put some more information to get some more accurate uh, projection for my benefits so let's say i am married uh, what is my spouse's age let's say 30 we are not separated or divorced so i put none of the above in terms of housing you are currently renting if one of my family member recently passed away i say none of the above and then let's say i interested in starting a business let's say so if i continue it will give me all the benefits that i can qualify okay so this is a really cool tool where you can find out what are those benefits you may qualify and then go to each of those benefits and get more details so it's quite impossible for me to go to all those benefits and discuss all those details but if you go here it gives you a pretty good list of benefits that you may qualify the other tool that i would recommend to you is child and family benefit calculator so again this is also a government tool and let's say i put here and i input it let's say my tax year is last year and i live in canada i live in ontario marital status married next how many children do i have let's say i have two let's say my birthday is january 1st 1985 and my wife's birthday is let's say 1990 and do i live in a census metropolitan area yes so let's say my first child's name is a and he was born let's say january 1st 2016 qualified disability dependent let's say yes shared custody yes I, as I said, I have two kids, so the first one I added. So the second child, let's say her name is BB, and she was born beginning of this year, and she doesn't have a problem, and we also have shared custody for her. So these are all the kids' information, and then next. So here is it's asking you what was your income. So let's say my income was. $25,000 and my wife's income was let's say $5,000 so there is no payment from RDSP or UCCB UCCB is the old universal child care benefit that benefit was taxable but the one that we have right now is not taxable so that's why there is some adjustment this is where it is asking me some residency information so let's say I paid $2,000 a month $24,000 a year and let's say i don't have any property tax because i don't own anything no energy cost because my rent covers that do i live in northern ontario let's say no a student residence let's say no okay and then here i think it's asking about canada workers benefit let's say i don't qualify so this gives you a summary of how much can you qualify from all those benefit and it also lists down all those benefits name. So as you can see here, for my two kids, I qualify Canada Child Benefit, which is the government one, and then Ontario Child Benefit. And this is monthly benefit. And then GST, PST quarterly payment because I qualify for low income and this is the climate action incentive payment again these are quarterly these are monthly and then ontario benefit there is trillium benefit 
as I said here, this is the sales tax and this is the energy tax. And this is how you can get a nice idea how much benefit you can qualify. And if you click on here, it gives you more information on what are those information we used to calculate those benefits. To wrap up this video, I will upload this Excel file under the description of this video. So if you need to check it out, you can download it, click on this link, but you don't need to download it. If you can just Google, I'm pretty sure you will find all those website pretty easily. So thank you all for watching this video and best of luck for your financial future.